Here's a brand new tutorial on how to do a motion tracking transition. It's inspired by Sam Colder's France video where he's looking at Polaroids. So here we go. Unfortunately, Final Cut Pro doesn't have a motion tracking plugin. So you have to figure out a third party that you'd like. I picked Cormelt. I picked out their bundle. It seemed like a pretty good deal for the price. Once you download that and install it, you want to open up Final Cut Pro and find a clip that you want to do the motion tracking on. I filmed just like a random Polaroid I found in my house. So then once you find your clip that you have and you want to motion track, you want to go up to your generators and titles. And under C2 Track X, you're going to have some options. And for this technique, you want to use track layer. Drag the track layer down on top of the clip that you want to do the motion tracking on. And then trim this layer right here to the exact length of the clip that you want to do your motion tracking on. Once you've done that, you want to click on the track layer and make sure you're at the start of the clip. And then click on the polygon shape tool. And what you're going to do is just outline the shape that you want to motion track. And that seems like it should be OK. And since you're at the beginning of the clip here, all you have to do is click on this right here track in forward direction. And depending on how fast your computer is, this may take some time. So I'm going to fast forward this part. OK, so then once it's done tracking, you're going to want to find a clip that you want to have playing in here and then eventually transition to the full frame. So I'm going to use this drone shot that I have. It's kind of slow over time because it's covering a lot of distance. So I'm going to speed this up and select. I think the beginning kind of pans up a little bit. So I'm just going to select right here. And then uh, maybe even make it faster. Uh, that seems like it should be fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clip this right here to the length of the motion tracked clip. And you want to make this a new compound clip. So that creates a new clip down in your all video collections. So then you're going to delete this. And then you're going to go back and click on the track layer. And over here where it says insert layer, no source, you need to source out where the video is going to be playing inside here. So click on this down arrow. And then click on that new compound clip you just made. And apply clip. So it'll apply the clip and up here you have three options. You can do some different settings for uh, how the video looks and um, it has some mask blur that you can make the edges look a little more sharp or a little bit more blurred. Um, but I can already see that the edges are kind of coming out. So I'm going to adjust the size of the clip inside. And also it's kind of distorted. So you can change that by adjusting these sliders here. So that way it looks a little bit more normal. And now when you play it back. It's playing that clip inside. I haven't done any color correction yet, so it looks kind of out of place. But that's basically the gist of that so far. So then in order to transition the two from that into the normal drone shot, you want to make this a new compound clip.
the next thing you want to do is drag in some type of smooth zoom in transition to make it look like it's zooming into the video inside the Polaroid. It may say it's not, there's not enough room so you can create the transition. And then you have something that looks kind of like this. And my computer is rendering this right now, but here, it'll look smoother now. And that's that. Um, and then you can apply some basic color correction. And there you go. That's how you do it. So if you have any questions, please write below. If you like this video, please like the video. And if you would like to see more interesting content, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Thanks.